walk a mile in their shoes. After that, we'll always be outsiders. I ain't mad, though. If I were them, it'd be my personal mission to fuck up every single humanoid who said good day to me. Right now, well, nice to know that's a healthy mentality you. for you. I understand you find it difficult to feel at home, but know that you were a friend, and that as long as I live here, you will be welcome. And when our people are finally... Is that a death flag? I know many of my brothers and sisters will welcome you, too. Don't stress out about the roof. You won't be instantly mutated. Though I have heard tales. But yeah, what a beautiful place. Natural, organic, how refreshing. Humans should take notes. Mm. This city makes me... Notice how we started off over at a... At a full metal city and... Now we're apparently going to some kind of oasis. It's all right. Sad as we go. Is there some kind of uh... by Jove, I damn it. Some kind of story in that somehow. Yo, let me in. You ugly shadow. You are here. What's going on, scum? Cain is moving to take power. He came with oh, you're scum. Powers. You look like you stood in his way. Threatened to do the same to Countess Moore. As for you and I, Phobos, I promise that he has already planned our deaths. Zachariah, that is not my life I worry for. He will kill any and all who stand against him. Well, why didn't we just kill him at the valley then? Destroying those with little more than sticks and rocks to defend themselves. Blood will dredge this planet. And I'm sure all our names are... Oh, well, it's a good thing the sand's already red, so that way we can't see it bleed. Yep, still sticking with Andrew. Nisha is still suspicious. Bobos is suspicious. Suspicious, suspicious. Everybody hates me except for Andrew. Everybody absolutely hates my guts. Good to know. Andrew, looks like you're still the one person I can count on. So we need to fight off Kane. Sure thing. Ah, the human everyone talks about. May I? Nope. Can we speak, please? I have absolutely no interest in talking to you. This would have been a lot more impressive if there were things like waterfalls. You know. How do these plants even grow? I haven't seen any water. That's bullshit. And zappity zap! Oh. Okay, well. Zap. Okay, so those guys were clearly shirtless, and I'm pretty sure I have absolutely nothing I want. Ow. Oh, you're using your bare hands. Why can't I use my bare hands? So, here's a question. If I go down and try to stop Kane, is he just going to... Doors ...to stop potential disruptions to the bloodbath they have prepared? I know of another way in, though. Follow me. Okay. Sure, lead the way. Why not? 
just let me uh, loot a dead guy. Focus injection. Brothers will pay for this, Phobos. We'll stop them. I know. Is this a boss fight? Oh, please tell me this is a real boss fight. Is that Kane with the uh, shovel? Yo, lay down on hogging all the camera. Follow me, or follow death. We'll never change, Kane. Is your only path the one stained with blood, paved with hate? The same hate destroying your own people. Look around. This valley was once filled with peace, but is now filled with gravestones. We cannot continue to lead our people down this road. You have gone too far, Kane. Fight someone your own side. I just realized Phobos is the only one with hair. Japanese hat. Thanks, Kane. Ow. Ow. Zap, zap. Zap, zap. Get out of here. Continue to trim a weed that will not stop growing and spreading its seeds. One must rip it out by the roots. I am going to trust Phobos. Among us, or between us, he cannot live another breath. Someone needs to step up and lead the mutants, Phobos. And honestly, you make a great chief. Especially since they'd need someone to lead them in whatever battles lie ahead of them. It is not a role I wish to fill. Why not? Yeah, but there's no better leader than the one who isn't seeking power. The people need you. The scum would be even better. Plus, if I ran for office, how could I travel around this planet with all of you? And find all that nice hair gel. Seriously! Are Phobos, are you really the only one who has hair? Also, uh, let's check out the stuff we got from Kane. Uh, that's a sniper gun. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Uh, let's check out pants. Eh. Ooh, those work. Better, way better defense. What's with the green arrow? And hey, Phobos. I got something for you. Requires five strength? Gotta be kidding me. Well, at the very least, 
you can go ahead and have that. I'll probably upgrade that at some point. Let's go ahead and give you Kane's trousers just because. Oh, nope, wait. Ugh, okay, you know what? Okay, so. I now have a set of uh, Roman gauntlets, or greaves. And, before I talk to you, there were merchants here. Let's talk to the merchants. to the grave. I only wish that Phobos had not sought the help of human. You ah, shut up. Him. You're welcome. Besides, Phobos would have gotten his ass kicked. That's how the uh -huh. NPC co-op stuff no works here. Many fragile things. No. Sure. Now, we can... Nope, never mind. What well, could we get here? Uh, Aurora Master Gloves. Whoops. Advanced Disruptor Gun. I've already got one. Alright, got the best shield I think I can get. Looks interesting. No, nope, not interested. Okay. I, I didn't want to. Just looking no. Goodbye then. Okay. Ugh. Somebody up. Uh, what was I? Oh. Okay. Good brief. Let's go up here and see if we can't find information that will inevitably lead us to talk about. Nope. Nope. That's a dead end. Lovely. Organic. Where? Where is the water? Does it rain on Mars? Oh, there's a question. Does it rain on Mars? Hmm. Hey. Hello. How are you? Someone told me about you, so I wanted to come say thanks. Your instructions helped me save my friend. I'm just happy you got there in time. We would have helped ourselves, but letting humans know free mutants roam around. Don't blame you. You see what led to all of that? By the time I got there, they tortured my friend, and the Technomancer in charge was leaving. He found himself surrounded by the Technomancer and his soldiers. Ah, yes. To know where they could find a man named Zechariah. To you, I suppose. Yeah. What did he tell him? Not the answer you are scared to hear. Instead, he told this other Technomancer that he knew who he was, but it did not seem to matter. Questions were just asked of them. This time, the friend screamed back that he knew who he was, and that they must listen to him. That is when they began to beat him, and he began to scream for mercy, but he would not come. Even as he screamed that he could 
do something for it then. The violence only grew. That is when he ran to warn them all of. So what he was offering to do for them, I do not know. He never said. But it did not matter anyway. All they wanted to know was where you were. Nothing else to them mattered. His torture lasted for hours. And your friend, he he is not all there. Loyalty cannot be doubted. Well, that's nice. Hey, thank you for going to be ashamed if I had to kill of someone. Course. Hmm. Time to go back over to Scott and have a little chat so I can put an end to this quest once and for all. And I can stop getting confused by the map markers. I think that's the real reason why I'm doing all of this. Because, I mean, sure, in some sense, I can. Oh. Well, we, we already have our own room? Okay. That's cool. Well, we got some nice bald people. Although, to be honest, they could have probably come up with a better. Why do they do that? That's poor level design. You don't have so many overhangs like that that confuses the player on the map, man. Like, come on. Don't do that. Hey, Scott! I need to talk to you. Uh, uh. Yeah. No, I don't want to fight. Okay, well, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, okay, I can't. I guess I have to talk to the mutant. Nice to know I wasted my time. Possibly bald. Hats. I think it's about time we ask you something very, very important. Are you wearing a wig? Zachariah, you are living proof that our people can live in harmony. You have helped us enormously, but now I believe it is time to make a decision. We must present a chief to the assembly. The time for speaking, I am afraid, is dwindling. If our internal quarrels give rise to conflict within our own, we need someone to unite us. We must walk as one race, face differences aside. Then it should be you. There is no mutant who lacks respect for you. And unlike Cain, your leadership will not spill blood. As a strategist, though, you are greatly respected as well. Perhaps it is you who should run. We could support Phobos, but I kind of like having the tank. Place to give an opinion, but 
I think that it makes sense for you to be chief, sir. You inspire them, and that's what they need. Perhaps, perhaps you are correct, Zachariah. But the fear of needing to be not just a chief, but a strategist that must lead a charge to free our brothers. I do not know, but we shall see what my people have to say. My love and support are yours, Stone. I will continue on with Zachariah until he finds peace, but I will come back to help you once it is done. Humbly he stands before you. Once we spoke like this, remember? When we were bound in our chains. But that's behind us. An entire colony of bald Scum people. In this valley that is ours, can finally say, I! And such freedom was bought with blood of our fallen brothers. Hear me when I speak these words. You know, the horrible disfigurements really kind of lose their effect when you realize literally every single one of them has no hair except for Phobos. As their kin play together. Let us not create adversaries with wrath or become the cruelty once shown to us. Instead, let us show mercy, and in that mercy, let there lie our road to peace. And with the shadow's mercy, may this dream of freedom and equality spread across the surface of our. Hey, can you snap? Can I wrap this up, please? Zachariah, Thank you. We must talk. About what? This is your safe house. The ASC could not reach you here, correct? That's the hope. But consider this. Even if Victor could not reach you here, how many times has he tried to impede you, to track you? You've already had to escape from his grasp twice. Perhaps the time has come to be less passive, to gather your allies and take the offensive for once. Word of the power he accumulates in the People's Assembly of Abundance is terrifying. I speak not of violence, but perhaps of some other way to bring him down. With all that you have done for so many, I am certain many would be more than willing to come to your aid, and even more invigorated when that aid will bring such a tyrant to his knees. You have our support, the Techomancer, and any others you can gather. And from the great heights to which he has climbed, the fall will be tremendous. He will not recover. Maybe you're right. Maybe it is time to take the offensive. That's what I've been <laughs> saying! Just the help brought by the Technomancer of the Mutants isn't going to uh... We need people able to really influence Ophir's policy, too. Like Dan Dolan, who loves playing games like that. Or, you know, you still have your contacts in the military, don't you? Maybe they'd help one of their own ex-officers who was wrongly accused. Uh, please tell me we're getting close to the end of this nonsense. I already talked about just shooting everybody and now they're talking about, Hey, I have a plan. Why don't we mount an offensive? I was able to take down so many people with just me and two others. Most of the time, two of which were unconscious. Uh, Alright. This is Suki Cultus. Signing out. We'll see everybody in the next episode of Silliness.